One of the most common questions we get is where is the craziest street racing in the world? And that's an easy one to answer, Stockholm, Sweden. That's why I'm excited to show you some never before seen footage from our archives from 2017, our trip to the Stockholm Open. This footage hasn't been edited yet because of some unforeseen circumstances overseas and some technical issues, but we had to bring this to you. So let's get right to it. I'm Kyle with 1320 Video and we've traveled all the way to Stockholm, Sweden to show you the craziest street race in the world, the Stockholm Open. The drivers are meeting behind us here at the gas station where they've been meeting ever since this race started back in 1982. This is the longest standing street race of its kind. This is a cash day style street race. This race is not about the money, it's about the bragging rights and proving that you have the street car and the balls that it takes to win the Stockholm Open. From the point the drivers have a meeting at 9 p.m., the racing starts around 10. We're gonna be getting done around eight in the morning. This is the Stockholm Open. Driver's meeting is just about over and the official car count is 41 cars. Whew. This close to racing. Everyone's anxious. Tonight's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a good race first round. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be tight, but uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Have you changed much since last year? Uh, no, I haven't driven. No? I have in the new house, so I haven't driven oh, anything. Perfect. How much power is it? Uh, I think now um, uh, 900 in the engine. Sweet. The wheels, I don't know. Well, I think he was hoping not to use nitrous first round, but he's gonna have to. <laughs> I think so. Too. Good luck. You're welcome. You were probably hoping you didn't need a nitrous first round, huh? You might need it. <laughs> no? Just in case. Just, Just in, in case. case. So this is going to be a big first round match. I've got the S4 behind me. It's about 900 horsepower. And the Mustang 2, that's God knows how much. It's got, a, I believe, a big block, lower, and a little bit of spray if he needs it. And he actually broke a bunch of parts a couple days ago testing because he did a big wheelie. So this is going to be a very interesting first round matchup. And you see him pulling off the trailer. This is the last time until the cars are out that these cars can be on a trailer. They have to drive the whole way the rest of the night until they lose. This is getting really exciting. So now that the driver's meeting's over, that means the racers are heading to the spot to get down with the first race. The tricky part about what we do for the Stockholm Open is that there's races all over town, and technically they have four starter crews to help start the races, but it doesn't happen that there's always a starter crew available, so sometimes we don't aren't able to catch a race. So that means myself, Matt, Kung Kimo, our counterpart over here, and one of his friends are gonna be filming and hopefully we'll be able to get 60, 70% of the races. It's impossible <laughs> to film every race at the Stockholm Open. All right, here we go. First race of the Stockholm Open, round one for me. It's gonna be a good one. yesterday yes. and you have no idea what no it's gonna idea. do well what's done to it what's under the hood uh, a lot a lot yes a lot <laughs> any specifics like a big turbo okay yeah a big turbo what yeah. motor 2.2 2. 2. 2.2 yes. is that an audi motor yes and a big turbo yeah like what size uh i have no clue no clue no i just bought the car because i want to race today oh man so yeah. Because my car, I have an S2 by myself, so I just didn't get my engine ready. So I called this guy and I took my car to him and just changed the car and gave him some money. 
because I want to race today. Nice. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. I need it. Yeah, you definitely have your work cut out for you. To explain why things are so hectic during the races of the Stockholm Open, it's important to understand the race logistics. Both race cars drive to the race spot, followed by the starter crew, and lastly a sea of spectator cars. When the two race cars make it to the race spot, the spectator cars park along the full width of the road to create a traffic jam. This is needed to keep police from making their way up to the starting line. The two cars do a burnout, back up, do another burnout, and then race. Then everyone frantically runs to their cars, and minutes later, it's like nothing ever happened at the race spot. was the uh, Monza and the S2, or the Quattro. Yeah? How close was the Monza and the Quattro the uh, two races ago? Like this. It looked really close. Yeah, it was, close. was it the Monza that won? Yes. That was badass. Yeah. Hell yeah. E30? Yeah. But Such a cool car. Shifter problems. So. Uh oh. So, so remind me what you're running in this car, but how much power is it? Uh, right now, first, second gear, 600 horsepower, and the rest, 800 maybe. Whew, that's awesome. Yeah. And it's all wheel drive. Yeah, all wheel drive. And is it the stock motor? No. Stock size motor? No. Uh, almost. Yeah. 218. 2.8. Instead of 2.5. Yeah. How big a turbo are you running? Uh, precision 64 66. Nice. So, it's, so you got it turned up pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think it's going to go with the duster? Uh, I don't have any big hopes. <laughs> yeah, because of the transmission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, Hopefully thanks. it stays together. Yeah. It's about 800 horsepower when it's turned all the way up in the in third and fourth gears. So it should be a fun race if this transmission will stay together. Let them shift fairly quickly. And I get a ride with them to the starting line, which will be fun. Here we go.
Good yeah. luck. Thank you. <laughs> It was uh, slippery. Yeah. Yeah. Still got them. That's still all motor. No nitrous. No nitrous. Remind me again. We saw you last two years, I think, in the Mustang too. So you got a small block Chevy. Is that right? Small block Chevy. Uh, Three ninety-eight, I think. Not too bad. Whipple blower. Blower and uh, nitrous. How much do you spray when you use it? Two hundred. Really. <laughs> Was that second round for you or third? Second. Second round, okay. So on to third round. Yeah. Good luck. Duster? Once again? Racing the duster? Yeah. Nice. How much power are you running this? About a thousand. A thousand? Hell yeah. yeah. Is it an S2 wagon? S4. S4 wagon. Yeah. I don't know them that well. <laughs> so S4 wagon, about a thousand horsepower. What, what size turbo's on here? It's a whole set uh, OX50 uh, MFS. Damn. That's a big turbo. Yeah. How do you think it's going to go? We don't know. We're It'll be a good race. Gonna give him a good yeah, race. Oh yeah. Good, good luck, man. Problem. Thanks.
think so. Uh, that was a good race. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Good camera. Thank you. Good, race. good drifting race. Yeah. <laughs> How close was it? The drifting king, you know. <laughs> I don't know exactly the car length or something. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. bad. We're getting into third round now. About to head to a race spot. Get the starter crews over there and get her done. There's been a lot of racing already. It sounds like everyone's been okay so far. We've had one small accident, actually one big accident, a GTR spectator car hit another car, bounced into some other cars, and some people were hurt. So hopefully they're okay. The helicopter that was above us actually left during the race we're about to start to go assist with helping the people that were hurt. So we hope they're okay. Hopefully the spectators can chill out. These guys have it handled. The starter crews are doing an amazing job keep, keeping people safe. There's only so much you can do when there's three, four, five hundred cars wanting to watch the races. Here we go. Mustang too. He's waiting for a 70s Camaro to show up. I think it's a nitrous car. Apparently he's only got a few minutes to make it here before he's late. Uh, so he got some time to get the race in, but he needs to hurry up. And it's 317. Now the problem with it being 317 is that you have to be here with the comp other competitor you're racing 15 minutes before the race or else you're out if they decide they want to do that. Otherwise, they have 13 minutes to race before both of them are out, and I think I hear that Camaro. So, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, she's running a little warm. So now we wait and see if the Mustang 2 wants to be nice and let him race, or if they want to call in and say he didn't make it here. Obviously, this car isn't proving itself to be as readable as it could be, or should be, to be honest, the stock I'm open. Getting a little warm, so he's risking hurting it if he ends up racing it anyway. So we'll go check in with the Mustang 2 and see if they're going to try and race it. Uh, otherwise, they can just call in a win. What did they decide? What? What did they decide? Not gonna we won't. We give the wins to... Uh, yeah. yeah. 
probably not worth hurting the motor. Yeah. <laughs> Just got the scoop on the Camaro. They actually got stuck in traffic when the car accident happened that made the helicopter land uh, to assist with the injuries, and they were there for 40 minutes. So they were sitting there, heating up, overheating, and then had to turn around and drive through traffic the wrong way to get here. So they didn't do too bad considering, but not enough to make it to the next round, unfortunately. So the Mustang 2 is headed up north, and who knows where we're going to go. We're just going to hang out and wait for the call. Somebody speaks English. Yeah, I can. Um, so you guys having a good night so far, it looks like. Well, yeah, basically. Our best chance was just to go by the like, first or second round, but right now we're, we're just living on the adrenaline. And it feels great. Hell yeah. The gearbox is having some difficulties. We had to remove the engine starter because we had some malfunctions yesterday with it. And, you know, it's... <laughs> It's keeping together with duct tape and so it's high maintenance, types. Yeah, high maintenance yeah. right now. So what's the combo on the car? What's under the hood? Uh, it's uh, 2.3 liters, uh, having a precision 76, 75. Holy sh Pushing <laughs> around 2.5 bars of boost. We have around 700 to the wheels, but we've blown some uh, bearings in the dyno. Pull out the engine, we rebuild it and just put it back. So it's not even proper with tune. So. Oh, so you just put a new motor in here. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Are you driving the Monza? Huh? Are you driving this? Can I throw it up with sound skills? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need a translator. <laughs> you guys are having a good night. It looks like. How big is the motor in here? Six thirty-two. Nice. A little bit of nitrous. A little bit. Are you able to use much of it tonight? Uh, we have to. Yeah, we have to. No kidding, there's some fast cars. I think we saw you race the... Was it a Nova? Nova. Yes. Black. Yeah, that was a good race. Got him by like two or three, I think. We got a little uh, Mitsubishi next. Good luck. Thank you.
hate climbing these things, but I want to do it anyway. I haven't done it yet. But I'm breaking anything. It looked like a couple of cars. Yes. Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, were you doing nitrous on that path? Yeah. You're looking pretty unstoppable tonight. Uh, Looks good. Oops. I hope so. Holy crap. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? Made it pretty far so far, huh? Yeah, that's right. Very nice. Two more races. Yeah. How's the yeah. night been so far? Pretty good, actually. Yeah. Who did you race last round? Uh, it was uh, Nova. 66. Six. What's the motor in here? 555. And one kit? Or yeah, two? one kit. How summer, much are you spraying? Summer breeze. Uh, 200. How's it hooking up tonight? Pretty good. Is it pretty heavy? Uh, 1100 kilos. Not too shabby. I see you got some weight reduction. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of shabby. <laughs> How many uh, Stockholm Opens have you run in? This is your first one? Yeah. And you're in the semifinal? Yeah. That's badass. Cool. Well, good luck in the semifinal. Thanks. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Did they touch? No. no? This was, this was oh my god, close. that was close. Did the Mustang 2 cross? Yeah. Oh, but, shit. Uh, yeah. So, so then, he was out anyway. Yeah, the black yes, one was out. Yes, he did. So we got stuck in traffic because we were trying to lose some spectators, went around the roundabout one too many times, which let another 50 cars in. They didn't realize the starter crew, who needs to be up there first, was behind 50 cars. So we stopped on the other side to jump the rail, didn't realize we were at the finish line, so we had to run up there. And then these guys were nice enough to give me a ride. They were right behind the cars that raced, so hopped in there to get away, just to make sure we weren't around for too long. So anyway, crazy semifinal, crazy journey to get there and get back. But uh, cars didn't touch, so that's good. comes down to this we've got one more race before we crown the winner of the Stockholm Open it's been one hell of a night we started around 10 o'clock at night and now it's almost 7 in the morning the sun's coming up there's traffic now and hopefully we don't run into the police because it's been a really easy Stockholm Open the best one yet 
even though there was rumors of police everywhere and hundreds of thousands of dollars in budget, it's been a really good night. Everyone's been safe. We had the accident with the spectators, but the racers have been safe and the people that are running this have done their job. So here we go. We got a big tire Monza against a big tire Nova for the title of the Stockholm Open 2017. So update, they were about to run the cars out the back here and sneak around out onto the highway to make a pass, but now the police are continuing to circle around, so we're waiting for a little bit to see what they do. Apparently one of them's out there shooting radar, trying to catch people speeding or whatever. I don't even know if they know that these cars are here, but the, uh, the, guy, the people running the race, the crew running the race thinks that they know exactly what's going on. We've got one more race, hopefully we can get it done in the next... 30 minutes to an hour or so. We've been waiting for almost an hour and a half. All right, time for a Hail Mary. Well, We're on the way to the highway. <laughs> Hopefully the police don't follow. It's gonna be pretty hard for them to do that. Now we just gotta work our way up to the front here. finish the stock come open. I'm just happy to see the last race. That's what we were all waiting for. Hi. You a ride? Yeah. All right, cool. There you go. Wow. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. That was a big win. Could you imagine winning Stockholm Open the first time at it? <laughs> That's pretty badass. You want some more money? <laughs> Even more. Congrats. That was badass. How was the how was the last race? Awesome. It looked badass. Freaking awesome. Looked like the car worked exactly how you needed it to. <laughs> Did it spin much? No. No. I don't think it spin at all actually. And you guys just built this car just recently, right? Yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. Uh, for fun actually. <laughs> and this is your first Stockholm Open. Yeah. And you won it. I've never been in Stockholm before. Yeah. Holy shit. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome actually. We're stoked. That was really cool. Yeah. And you got a big crew here to celebrate with you. Yeah, we are. Uh, and everybody's safe. Lots of thanks to them, man. Oh, yeah. Lots of thanks. Well, congrats again. Hopefully, we'll see you racing again next year. Hopefully. Here he is. 